Number 25, no service. Around two-thirds of ship crews in the world have no means of communication while they're on the open sea. Only about one in ten crews will have freely available internet. Number 24, pirates. In 2010, Somali pirates were holding 544 seafarers hostage. Every year, more than 2,000 sailors die at sea, and an incredible two ships are lost every day. In 2012, the attack rates on seafarers was higher than the number of violent crimes in South Africa, the highest crime nation on earth. Number 23, a long journey. A container ship travels the equivalent of three quarters of the way to the moon and back in one year during its regular travel across the oceans. Number 22, expensive ships. The largest ships can cost over $200 million to build. Number 21, seafarer demographics. Females constitute only about 2% of seafarers. People from the Philippines make up more than a third of all crews worldwide with nearly a quarter million at sea. Number 20, a boatload of bananas. The largest ships can store 745 million bananas in nearly 15,000 containers. That's about one for every person in Europe and North America. Number 19, an ancient industry. Shipping is one of the oldest industries in the world. Today, however, it plays as important a role as ever. Number 18, lots of boats. There are approximately 55,000 merchant ships carrying cargo around the world. Number 17, lots of seafarers. Around 1.5 million sailors are employed by the global shipping industry. Number 16, greenhouse gas. In 2009, the 15 biggest ships in the world gave off the same amount of greenhouse gas as 760 million cars, or about two cars for every American. Number 15, it's still the greenest. Compared to trucks and planes, however, shipping is still the greenest form of transport, relatively speaking. Number 14, some perspective. Having made the previous two points, it's worth mentioning that if you added shipping to the list of the world's most polluting countries, it would come in sixth place. Number 13, lax inspections. Worldwide, only around 2% to 10% of containers are actually inspected. U.S. ports normally inspect roughly 5% of the 17 million containers arriving at the border every year. Number 12, the biggest fleets. Germany, Japan, and Greece are the three countries with the biggest fleets based on total deadweight tonnage controlled by parent companies located in those countries. Number 11, dislike of outsiders. Shipping companies are extremely secretive. For example, the official Greek Ship Owners Association won't even reveal how many members it has. Number 10, 20 million. As of this moment, there are roughly 20 million containers crossing the world. Number 9, a lot of power. A container ship engine has about 1,000 times more power than a family car. Number eight, average cost of shipping. To give you an example of how much it costs to ship something, a bicycle would be roughly $10, while a soda can would be less than a penny. Number seven, huge source of revenue. Economically speaking, the shipping industry is enormous. In the United Kingdom, it accounts for more of the GDP than restaurants, takeaway food, and civil engineering combined. Number six, 90%. Shipping is so big, in fact, that it constitutes roughly 90% of the world's trade. Number five, a lot of containers. If you were to line up the containers on just one ship, they would easily stretch nearly halfway around the planet. If you stack them up, they would reach nearly 7,500 Eiffel Towers high. And if you unloaded their cargo onto trucks, the traffic would stretch for 60 miles. Number four, a safety-oriented industry. Shipping is one of the first industries to adopt widely implemented international safety standards. Number three, it's necessity. In 2011, the 360 commercial ports in the United States received goods from abroad worth $1.73 trillion. The U.S. relies on shipping to bring in two-thirds of its oil supply. Number two, types of merchant ships. In the global fleet, there are six types of ships. General cargo ships, bulk carriers, fishing vessels, container ships, passenger ships, and tankers. And number one, cheap fillets. Shipping is cheap. It's so cheap, in fact, that rather than fillet its own fish, Scotland can send its cod 10,000 miles across the ocean to China to be filleted and then sent back for less than the price of doing it themselves. If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.